This shoe is a classic for like 40 years and counting. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. Today, we're taking a look at a classic. Like I said, this is the Air Force One Low. Uh, this is the Air Force One 07. I guess we should make that distinction because in 2022, we got a lot of uh, retro sneakers. We got a lot of uh, Air Force Ones in their original makeup. These are not in the original makeup. Um, but we'll talk about the differences between these and like the OG uh, Air Force Ones, as well as the differences between this and an authentic retail sneaker, if that's what you're into. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Shout out to the homies that sent this for review. Now, let's first start off with the look at the box. This is your standard box. It's the Nike Air Force One box, all neutral gray. Nike Air logo, Air Force One. Um, and let's take a look at the box tag. This is the Air Force One 07. Uh, colorway is white on white. And I got these in eight and a half because I wear a size nine, but in my opinion, we should always size down a half size on the Nike Air Force One, unless you just really love creasing your shoes or just like moving your foot around a whole lot. It's a snug fit, but it feels better on foot and they hold up a little bit longer to me when you size down. Now, inside the box, of course, I've got my two shoes. And uh, you have to forgive me because the, the pack of silica gel <laughs> somehow opened in this box. And so, yeah, those little beads are all on my outsole. But anyway, let's take a look at the shoe from the bottom up as usual. So. This is the standard Nike Air Force One outsole with the concentric circles, little lines. Now, now, depending on like just, you know, who you are or how old you are, this shoe is iconic for like several different reasons, right? If you're like from New York and you grew up in the 80s, these are the uptowns because folks in Harlem, wore these a lot and they're just a super iconic silhouette with the super chunky sole uh you might also just heard to them referred to as nike airs because one difference between this shoe and the og from 1982 is you didn't have the nike air with the swoosh you just had the words nike and the word air on the back of the shoe right there so all those things so you might know these as the nike airs you might know these as the uptowns or just the ups from when I was a kid, um, or or when I was a kid growing up, early 2000s, Nelly comes out with the song Air Force Ones, takes this shoe from being like a $60 retro shoe to being like a $100 retro shoe over the course of some years. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's wild. But anyway, standard outsole. You've, you've seen these a million times. This just brings me right back to the early 2000s where like every person alive had this shoe, it seems. In the white on white colorway, I should add. I had the mid tops with the little strap. I like the mid tops. A lot of people like the high tops. The mid tops weren't even an original thing. They came out later on. But uh, the low tops, in my opinion, are probably the ones that look best with jeans. And you can rock them with shorts too. So anyway. We got the we got the outsole taken care of. Now let's look at this midsole. The Air Force One is known for its super chunky midsole. Right here, you got the word air. It's on the back with this little line. This is just such a clean shoe. I don't know. Like before people were rocking these heavy in the 2000s, it was all about like Reebok classics in the 90s. But this is just a superior shoe to me. And maybe it's the nostalgia talking, but I love it. Anyway, let's move on to the uppers where we have like the now iconic silhouette. Like you've seen this silhouette a million times. You've seen vapes. You've seen all kinds of imitators. When I was a kid, they had Iversons that stole this silhouette. Um, you know, even now Nike is suing people for knocking off this silhouette without even taking their logo. So anyway, you got the toe box. You've got your mudguard. 
and your new little heel pattern as well. And of course, you got your Nike swoosh, the two holes right there. Again, this is just all super, super iconic and classic. It's hard to review an Air Force One and sound objective in any kind of way. Um, now, some interesting stuff. Right here on the insole, you got a little crown that says Sense 82. And on this insole on the heel, you got Nike Air Force One. Uh, now, I did say I was going to tell you some of the differences between this 07 model and the classic 18, 1982. Uh, one of the biggest ones is this lace Dubray. So back in the day, when I was picking these up in the 2000s, these came with a round lace Dubray. Um, but back in 2007, Nike sort of updated the silhouette a little bit uh, and changed out this Dubray so that they could copyright the silhouette. Um, and start suing other brands for making fake Air Force Ones. Um, even though they weren't, they weren't counterfeit Air Force Ones, they were just capitalizing on this look. I feel like every budget shoe brand, Shaq definitely had a pair of these with the, <laughs> with the Dunk Man logo right there. So anyway, anyway, that's the one of the biggest differences is this square lace Dubray and not the oval lace Dubray that said AF1. 82 so that's that's some uh trivia for you um and honestly man that's the shoe that's the shoe there's really nothing else to say um i'm trying to remember i feel like the sock liner didn't always look like this like this super breathable material i feel like my sock liner was like straight up like a cotton or like almost satin looking when i was a kid uh so that might have been another difference that they added when it was time to update these for 2007 i don't know but I like it though. I like it. Um, now, as far as legit checking indicators, because what I'm holding is actually a replica of the Nike Air Force One. And there really aren't a ton of ways to tell. Like when I was a kid, fake Air Force Ones were a dime a dozen. And you could clearly tell the differences, even though no one cared. Because with these, it was all about getting colors that no one else had, and combinations no one else had. People were sewing Louis Vuitton and Gucci patches and stuff on their toe box. But anyway, nowadays, it's very much harder to tell. They've got the shape of the swoosh right. They've got the shape of the shoe correct, mostly. Um, but one sure proof way to tell if your Air Force Ones are the genuine article. Grab yourself a black light. This is one that's on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description. But when you light these up, Yes, the the lace or the uh, the um, the stitching is supposed to light up in a black light, so that's normal. But you might also notice that there's like some extra uh, lines, like on the inside of the toe box. And basically, what these are, these are guidelines. You see them around the swoosh. You see these guidelines. Basically, everywhere a panel is supposed to meet the leather. You're seeing the stitching light up, but you're also seeing like a, an extra dashed line there. Those are called guidelines. And the rep manufacturers, they put them there so that they know where to sew stuff. That's why I mean, the guidelines are part of the reason the shoes look so on point. But again, upon closer inspection, you can tell these are Fugazi because there are just so many guidelines. That's not something you're going to see on an authentic retail shoe. They got lasers and whatnot. They don't need to be bothered with writing on shoes with pens and then trying to erase the ink. So that's how you can tell whether or not your Air Force Ones are genuine. You go play laser tag in them, you see them light up like, like the 4th of July, then hey, listen man, might've got, might've got duped. But all in all, super clean shoe, super great. And uh, I'm gonna wear these cause I like them. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Peace.